Welcome to ArcGIS from beginner to pro. So let's look at the course contents here. So the course will consist of 10 sections and then there is a bonus section. So uh, you can say that there are altogether 11 sections. And these are the 10 sections and the videos. How many videos each section has, this is the list. So let's move on and see what is in the introduction section. So in the introduction section, there are three videos. And in these three videos, we're going to learn about the concepts related to spatial analysis and the things we're going to be seeing in this course. And then we are going to learn about which softwares we're going to need. And so that you may know that if you already have those softwares or you need to download those softwares for the course. And then I'm going to talk a bit about ArcGIS, the owners of ArcGIS and the 21 day free trial version of ArcGIS. So that's about it in this section. Let's move on to the next section. The next section is ArcMap basics. So in this section, I'm just going to go through the basics of the ArcMap. So what we're going to cover in this section are the ArcMap interface, which I have written as ArcGIS interface. So we're going to learn about the interface, how we can connect folders, how we can open our files, etc, etc. And then we're also going to learn about geodatabase, attributes table, and then we're going to learn how to make selections. So we're going to learn about zooming, we're going to learn about magnify. Now magnify is also zooming, but a different kind of zooming, you'll see that. Then we're going to learn about different coordinate systems and the measure tool now the measure and the coordinate systems are two different topics but i have seen that if i put those two topics in the same video then the output would be better so i have put them into a single video instead of two uh, different videos and then we're going to learn how we can change the color of shape files how we can add fields and how we can calculate the geometry by geometry i mean the land area and then we're going to learn how we can add different kinds of data, for example, population data in our attributes table. And then we're going to learn how we can export new shape files. And then we're going to learn how we can add labels to our uh, shape files or polygons. So let's move on to the next section. So the next section is on geoprocessing. Here we're going to learn how you can make how we can merge shape files, how we can dissolve shape files, how we can uh, split different polygons of a single shape file to different shape files, and how we can clip shape files. And then we're going to learn about the buffer tool and the intersect tool. Now for these two tools, I have prepared two different questions that will help you understand these tasks better. Now let's move on to the next section. The next section is on Arc Catalog. Now the Arc GIS actually consists of four softwares, the Arc Map, the Arc Catalog, the Arc Globe, and the Arc Scene. So most people actually uh, call the Arc Map the uh, Arc GIS, but uh, Arc GIS is actually a combination of four softwares. So in this section, we're going to learn a bit about the Arc Catalog. We're going to, I'm going to introduce you to Arc Catalog. We're going to see how the folder display types in Arc Catalog, the catalog tree in Arc Catalog, and we're going to see how much uh, of our shape files data we can see and change through Arc Catalog. Okay, so let's move on to the next section. The next section is on the shape files, working with shape files. So in this section, we're going to learn about statistics, field calculator, how we can create graphs and uh, different types of data, data types in shape files in fields of attributes tables. And then we're going to learn how we can change the color of selection. Now, when we select a feature in our, in ArcGIS, the shapefile feature, uh, that feature is highlighted with a border color. Now we're going to learn in this video uh, how we can change that border color into a fill color or a fill border combination color, uh, all those things. And then we're going to also learn about shapefile transparency. At times you may have to place the three, two, four or two different shape files that have the same coordinates uh, uh, all together, but you'll need to see through the first shape file to the shape file that is below it. So transparency can help you to with that. Now, after that, we're going to uh, learn about choropath mapping. So the map here, as you can see, is co is choropath mapped. Choropath map actually means that there are going to be different colors in a single shape file feature. Okay. 
Now let's move on to the map making section. Now many, many students actually enroll to GIS courses just for this, the map makings. So here's the map making section and I try to add as much as I can add in this section. So in this section, we're going to learn how we can make a simple map in ArcMap or ArcGIS, whatever you want to call it. And then how we can edit the legend, how we can move things of a legend around and then how we can add multiple data in our legend and then we're going to learn how we can add a base map uh, in our maps background to give it a better appeal then we're also going to learn about the layout size changing uh, and printing maps through ArcGIS how we can set the print area to match different page formats such as A4, A3 and so on and then we're also going to learn study area mapping in this section so let's move on to the next section. The next section is on map tracing. So in this section, we're going to learn georeferencing, making shape files and map tracing. So georeferencing is actually giving a uh, image or a certain file uh, geo coordinates to trace it. And then we're going to learn how we can make shape files using our ArcMap software. Okay, now a thing to note that whatever we're going to learn in this section will also help you with map digitization. For example, you have a very old hand-drawn map and now you need to update that map. So what you can do is take a picture of it and uh, put it in your software. You can georeference it then make shape files. Using those shape files, you're going to create a digitized map, a new map that is going to have georeferencing on it coordinates on it and you'll be able to do a lot more with it you can be able to do analysis uh, numerous numbers of analysis and many more things you can prepare a file for someone else like that and all those things now let's move on to the next section the next section is google earth and arcgis and this section has three videos so in, in this section, we're going to learn how we can project the shape files from ArcMap to Google Earth Pro. And then we're going to learn how we can use Google Earth Pro to make new shape files or to polyline or to make polyline features that will represent roads or rivers, all those things. Now let's move on to the last section. This section is working with raster files. In this section, we're going to learn how we can classify elevation, how we can reclassify raster cell sizes. We're also going to learn how we can make Euclidean distance raster, Euclidean direction raster. And I will be explaining what these things are in the course. So don't worry if you are not getting a lot of things here. And then we have the uh, DEM part one to part five. Uh, in these videos, I have shown you how you can make a raster file for yourself using Google Earth Pro and ArcGIS. DEM actually means digital elevation model. So that model actually holds the elevation data, meaning a raster file. Now, and then we're going to learn how we can do contour mapping and slope mapping and hill shape mapping. And this is the end of the official sections. But I have also added another section called the bonus section now the contents of the bonus section is not made public it is only for those who enroll to the course so i hope i'll be seeing you to this course and thank you very much for watching this video